Hi, my name is Leah Zernich, and this is my Christian Witness. My confirmation verse is, The whole earth is filled with awe at your wonders. Where morning dawns, where evening fades, you call forth songs of joy. Psalm 65, 8. This verse appeals to me from the poetic choice of words, the meaning behind each phrase. For context, the entire chapter of Psalm 65 is written beautifully. It speaks of the sacrifice made by Jesus for me and you. When we were overwhelmed by sins, you forgave our transgressions. Psalm 65, 3. In the abundance of care and love God has made for his people, you care for the land and water it. You enrich it abundantly. The streams of God are filled with to provide the people with grain, for so you have ordained it. Psalm 65, 9. Despite all of the other beautiful and meaningful verses throughout the chapter, 65, 8 spoke to me the clearest. The beginning of this verse is the whole earth is filled with awe at your wonders. To me, the phrase awe at your wonders enchants me. I feel that it means there are many beautiful things bringing you peace in this troublesome life. I think it is amazing how the world was created perfectly and beautifully. I am obsessed with the beauty of our world, from the breathtaking views created by the highest mountain to the beauty in the butterfly's wing. The best part of this is God created all of it. It is so beautiful to be able to walk outside and enjoy the beauty of our surroundings. I feel people take this for granted too often, which is another reason why this verse is so meaningful to me. The verse reminds me that God created our beautiful world, and I will try to enjoy it while I can and not take it for granted. I will stay fascinated by God's creation of nature for as long as I exist on this planet. Seeing God care so deeply for each flower and each bird reminds me of how he loves each of us so much that he sent his son as a sacrifice for you and me. The words not only describe the beauty of nature, but the beauty of human beings. Every living creature was created in the eye of God. The individuality of each human captivates me, each freckle perfectly placed, every hair sewn in just right. He thought of every detail for each individual person. I love to learn of how other people choose to live out the life given to them. Many people choose to live life kindly. So many humans have proven the privilege it is to get to know them because they let God's kind light shine so brightly through them. God made us beautiful despite the filth of our nature. He forgives us and makes us new. Like the song sings, you make beautiful things out of the dust, you make beautiful things out of us. The phrase, you call forth songs of joy, is so important to me. It illustrates how God brings joy into our world and lives. He loves us so much that he will gift us so many pieces to our lives to bring peace and comfort. To me, the songs of joy are laughter, music, meaningful conversation, the songbirds sing, whistling wind, thunderstorms, and so many other songs that remind me of the endless love God has granted me. One of the places I love to feel emerged in God's beauty and wonder is at Camp Luther Haven. So many of my positive and precious memories are held in the walls of this camp. Camp has become my favorite place to return to. I see it as my second home, and everyone there is my second family. All of the staff members and campers perfectly blend to make a positive and memorable environment. You are able to see God's love in everyone you meet during your stay. Being out there in the country emerges me in the beauty of our natural world. The stars seem to shine brighter during the evening devotions. Camp Luther Haven is one of the places where I feel most in touch with God. This would not be possible if the wonderful people that choose to let God lead their life weren't there to support me. Thank you, Grammy Z, for always being such a great example of how to love and serve others. Firstly, thank you to my church family. Thank you, Pastor McLean, Pastor Hauser, and Mr. Grelly for teaching me all the things I need to know to keep my faith flourishing. Thank you to my fellow classmates for providing me with a community I can connect with on a spiritual level. Thank you to the wonderful humans I have met through Camp Luther Haven who have filled my summers with memories to last a lifetime. But most of all, I would like to thank my family. Thank you, Grandma and Grandpa, for reading me Bible stories and singing me my favorite hymns. So special to me are the memories I hold of visiting my grandpa's church. Thank you, Mom and Dad, for teaching me of Jesus' endless love and raising me in such an amazing community and providing me with so many opportunities. Thank you to my aunts, uncles, and cousins for always supporting and cheering me on through my faithful journey and life. Thank you so much, Mom, Dad, Hope, and Sunny, for being my number one supporters. Thank you for always loving me. It has encouraged me to find my calling to a faithful life. Thank you, Hope, for being my best friend and the person I look up to most. 
Thank you, Sunny, for teaching me to try my best to be a great big sister. Thank you to all who have played a part in my faithful journey. My prayer for you is this. Take heart the words spoke in this verse and feel gratitude for the wonderful world we have been given while we await for our everlasting home.